All right, guys, now that we have Betaflight loaded, there's a couple things that we're gonna need to do. So let me just kinda, let me move this over just a little bit there, and this way you can see uh, the rest of the buttons that are on the top right of the screen. Okay, so what we wanna do next is we want to plug in our flight controller, all right? But sometimes there may be a driver issue with that, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. First thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and get our drone here, and let's get our USB cable. So you're gonna need your micro uh, USB cable, which is gonna be right here, okay? And we're going to go ahead and you're going to find the USB port on your drone, which is right there. And very carefully, make sure you don't plug this in and lift up because you can break these USB ports right off. Just plug in your USB port just like that. Okay? You're going to hear it kick into Windows just like we just heard. And now I'm going to take you back to the computer screen and show you what we're going to do. All right. So I'm going to minimize my um, beta flight right now. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to right click on my start button. I'm going to left click on run and I'm going to type the word control. Okay, so just type in C O N T R O L. What you want to do is you want to open your control panel and we're going to go to device manager. Okay, and then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to look for our COM ports list down here. And let me see if I can just move this back again out of the way just for the time being. Let's try that. All right, see this COM ports arrow right here? Click that. Make sure that what you see under here is STM Electronics Virtual COM port. If I unplug the drone, that will disappear and there will be no COM ports. Okay, now you may have COM ports, but that COM port with the STM is not on there. When I plug it back in, just like that, you're going to see that it's there. Okay, if you don't see that, you need to load the driver. Okay, and here's what you're going to do for that. It's very quick, very easy. Let me go to the website real quick. And what you will do is you go back to FPV Professor, and for this particular board, which is the JHEMCU board, you will load these drivers right, one of these two drivers right here, okay? Now, if you're running Windows 8 and Windows 10, just load this one right here, all right? If you have a problem with compatibility with it, then go back and do the Windows 7 driver as well. One of those two is gonna work for you, but start with the one uh, that is closer to your operating system. Although I can tell you there are instances where uh, that this one right here does not work on a newer machine and this one does, so just make sure you do that. When you're done loading these, all right, it's gonna look like this. Now let me show you, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens if you don't have the right driver, okay? So I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna click uh, uninstall device and I'm gonna delete the driver. And I'm gonna do this so that you can understand what kind of what problems you might go through and you'll see how to work around them, all right? Once it's uninstalled, I'm gonna go ahead and scan for changes and we're gonna keep uninstalling this Okay, you see how it says we're setting up the beta flight STM32 F405. Now look, see how it says a USB serial device, right? Okay, it doesn't say STM32, and we do not want it to be generic. We want it to be specific to what we're using. So watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the um, uh, website here, and I'm gonna try these ones right here. I'm gonna download this one right here, okay? It's gonna download right here, and then it's gonna be in my downloads folder. Okay, and you can still look, it says the device is ready, but it's very generic, right? It's the generic version. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, I'm gonna tell it to show the folder so I can see the download. Here's my download. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna left click on extract all. Okay, and then I'm gonna click extract. And it's gonna show me the files when we're done, and there's the files right there, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna run this Windows 8 X64 and we're gonna see if this one will work. Okay, so let's double click it. You'll get your screen that it's gonna make changes. Go ahead and click yes. And here it goes with preparing the install. We'll give it a second because it's probably going to pop up here in a second. And I'm going to leave this page up as well because I want you guys to see what happens. If this driver works, then this should change right here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and tell it to repair. Next, because I had already had it loaded for the most part. So I want, it to, uh, I want it to go ahead and reassign itself. So then we'll click next again. Now it's installing the driver for it. And you may not get that repair option. If you haven't loaded this before, you won't get that repair option, okay? So don't worry about that. What you do wanna see is you wanna to get to this point where you see this driver, you see the file flying from folder to folder, and look at that. Now we're at the STM uh, Electronics Virtual Com port. Now we click Finish, and we're good to go. Okay, so now we click Finish here, and we're done. That's how, <coughs> excuse me, that is how you load the driver for your board. 
It could have been a CP2102, uh, which is just like the STM. It's, a, it's another type of driver. And I've given you links to those right here, okay? So point being is, is try not to use the generic driver if at all possible. Now, that's how you set up your COM port. So now when you look at Betaflight, look at what it says right here, okay? Now I'm gonna disconnect my drone. And let me show you what it looks like on the table here, okay? And I'm gonna plug it back in. Actually, let me close my let me close my beta flight altogether as well. I'm gonna reopen my beta flight. I want to make sure everything is loading fresh. Okay, so you see now how I have this here. That's my COM port, and if you look at our device manager, it's COM88. So we know this is good. Now, if I click connect, I'm in the system, and we can tell because if I pick up my drone, everything I do with this is gonna happen on the screen. So you did an excellent job there. Okay. Now there's another, there's another thing we're gonna to have to do here, but right now we just wanna make sure you get the drivers loaded. So we're gonna stop here. All right, so let me get this ready for you. We're gonna stop right here and we're gonna to go to the next step, which is how to get ready to load the firmware, okay? So I'll be right back for you. 